Hello Pisces, welcome back to There's That Tarot. I'm gonna say a personal reading. Some of you may be getting a personal reading. Be careful of the details in the month of November. Welcome to There's That Tarot. Welcome to your November 2023 reading. Wow. Why am I hearing back, back, forth and forth? Some of y'all may have been dealing with a Leo. Ooh, yeah. Or Scorpio. Fixed energy. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn, possibly. A lot of y'all need a break. In the month of November, you could be taking one so that you can come to a decision. And I think a lot of y'all are going to end up making the decision that makes you feel like you're alive. <laughs> now, I mean, you make me feel like I'm alive again. Some of y'all just need to dance, you know, let your hair down. God damn, just breathe. I hope you dance. I'm sorry, I shuffled the deck wrong. And so I'm just getting messages from everything that I'm seeing and hearing right now. I almost called you Scorpio. It could be a Scorpio significance. I'm hearing something about an optical illusion. You could be like very intuitive. Like you could be getting a lot of messages. I've been getting like a lot of deja vu moments. Um, a lot of like mini premonitions. Like, like the next three lights are going to be green. And then they are type of termination. So that could be happening for you too. I'm a Pisces and Vedic astrology. Sun and Venus. All right, let's look at your general messages. Two minutes in, you're done. <laughs> Pisces, you don't want anything that makes you. I said this in Aquarius's reading. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I said this in that reading. I said, um, you know, my last session with my therapist, she said, do not live beneath your privilege. Privileged lady in the reverse. You may recognize that that is indeed what you've been doing. <laughs> and we're going to see why. And it's like, why are you doing that when poverty's in the reverse? Things are getting better for you financially or perhaps they already have you could have reached a new tax bracket and then i'm here and i'm on a new level so what's what are you having a hard time making a decision about a lot of you have activated your feminine side whether you are a man or a woman it's like you by way of taking care like extra care of yourself it's like there's this one thing that sticks out like a sore thumb and keeps you guarded it keeps you, it's like you, you're putting that vulnerable side of you. It's like it's there. It wants to be there. It's the best part. And it's keeping you, whatever reason you're like keeping it bottled up like this. Or that there's an energy in your life that doesn't coincide with what's happening in your life. And that is what it looks like. It's like, this, whoever this is, it's hurt you. Yeah, fire sign. Who is this Leo? Very sad. Who is this person that's trying to come back towards you? It looked like you trying to let them go, whoever this is. But it looked like they, they, <laughs> I'm hearing, don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. This person is like, don't stop me now. Oh my goodness. They want to continue to have a good time. I'm here at your expense. <laughs> I almost said Taurus. Pisces. What is going on in this reading? A lot of you are going to be experiencing this. Or are experiencing this period of success. And it's like, what are you doing, Pisces? <laughs> what are you doing? You may have a friend that asked you that. You may have, you know. It's like, you haven't done this yet? You haven't? There's something like that. 
you may be entertaining something. I don't know if it's below your pay grade. You may be overqualified for something. And it's keeping you. Let's look at what it's keeping you from. What is this exactly? And what is it keeping you from? What somebody want to Oh. A person. It's keeping you from your match. Quite literally. You're in, it's like you're you're in the wrong seat. Hey, hey, hey. Honey, you supposed to be sitting with your with your husband, with your wife, with your mate. Somebody trying to hold you hostage, honey. Man, I, I wouldn't take that lightly. You're in the wrong seat, Pisces. There's a very strong connection here, but dishonesty. Well, in the regret. enter into a relationship just yet. Fix the problem. Get happy. Sometimes you can't fix something looking directly at it. You have to get rid of what is keeping it from thriving. So that's because you, you, yeah, you got something here. If you do what I told you to do, end of a conflict the end of something that kept you in this pessimistic never ending cage of lies <laughs> is what I'm hearing you're moving on, moving away from that you gotta worry free hmm. don't worry about being good enough for somebody. Don't worry about trying to be perfect or impressing somebody else. Don't make your self-care or your, you know, healing and mending of wounds about someone else. Or about, you know, moving on to another person, even if that person doesn't have a face or a name yet. Like, that shit's about you. Okay. And only you can make, only you can delay this blessing. You know? And only you can make that shit come faster. <laughs> I heard quite literally. So, whoa. You, because this is whoever this is, this is your match, Pisces. Okay, you may be the one. <laughs> mm. Only you can prevent forest fires, honey. But it looked like you, you, you won. You're gonna whoever this is that's coming into your life. You, you sexually, oh my god, you probably trip this person up. <laughs> like what the fuck? So they're probably used to like winning in bed, but mm -hmm. <laughs> said I'm a Pisces, back a back a fail. Well, well, I'm raising hell. People always trying to find the world I'm in. I'm the envy of the women and I rule the men. Okay. <laughs> it could be the other way around, just saying. Same thing in your work messages, Pisces. You are building this or you have built this solid foundation for yourself and you're, you're starting to reap the rewards of your hard work of your dedication of your blood sweat and tears of your your pain you know 
And you should be able to enjoy this time that is your life. Like, you don't know. We don't know. You better enjoy this this moment. You take full advantage of what's happening in your life. Like, spread your wings. Be your own person. Because there's something in your life that has a change. It's still toxic. It keeps you bound. It's a pattern. It's, uh, it's kept you in this loop. Meanwhile, you're like, I mean, I see how strong you are. It's like through all of this, like you got this thing that's pulling and just picking and prodding and just annoying the hell out of you, probably. Meanwhile, you're just like <laughs> persevering. You were what held it together anyway. You got somebody that is stubbornly holding on to you and keeping you and ch ch to hold you back. Come on, Pisces. Where you going? I can't go there. I can't afford that. I can't do that. I can't. I can't. I can't do that with you. So you can't. This ain't your work life. You gotta stop uh, fooling with this. Look at your. Uh, Keep on loving you, Pisces. I don't know what this is. But your love. Your love for yourself is what's going to. Is what's forming this solid foundation that you're standing on in the month of November. And it's what's going to pull you away from whatever this is. For some of y'all, it's quite literally addiction. For some of y'all, it's a Leo. For some of y'all, it's somebody that. They're like, and now I'm hearing warrior ethos. This is somebody who's not accepting defeat. And that's a good attitude for the army. Or, <laughs> you know, that's a good attitude for battlefield. But not necessarily in love, you know. Love allows. <laughs> and this ain't no allow. This person could, you know. <laughs> God, this person is a storm. <laughs> I need mean, this person is. Oh my goodness! What's your advice about that? You can't look back. You can't look back. You gotta stop talking to this person. Become an absolute mystery until you're able to completely clear this situation. I'm talking about go. You have to ghost this person. You have to ghost. You gonna have to. It's a blackout. You're going to have to have a complete blackout period. Or you're going to keep getting sucked into this. I don't know how, but... Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This person is obsessive. Ay. I didn't even see what was behind it. It's like layers of bullshit with this person. Ay. Toxicity bound pattern. I just got to show you how it, how it came out. This is the first card. Here's what I thought was the only card that clarified it. This is what I, I should thought it was just this one, but that, that's enough, isn't it? The devil, Capricorn energy. Then I look behind it, <laughs> the seven of swords. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Four cups in the reverse. This person, it's like this is what you are. Doing. It's like you. Some of y'all, this is this could quite literally. Um, congratulations on your sobriety. If this is what you had, you know what I'm saying. Congratulations. I mean, celebrate yourself. If this is a person, celebrate yourself, honey. Because this here, <laughs> this is the nastiest cards in the deck. Two different decks. No wonder you felt stuck. This is the kind of thing where love becomes your discipline. Love becomes your practice. Self-love becomes your discipline and your practice and your schedule and your, like... You got to keep push. You have to keep pulling yourself out of this. Sometimes you have to get up every day and choose not this. 
That's how addiction goes, or whatever this is. Do not allow yourself. This is this could be a relationship. Some of y'all, some of y'all. <laughs> yeah, niggas is your addiction. <laughs> Bitches are your addiction, and this ain't good. Somebody is looking for redemption because they 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 see it. They, they out there in the world, and they like they seeing that you ain't worried about them, and you cold, and they wondering what who who's loving you. <laughs> ay 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 ay. ay. But it looks like you're just about, your life is just falling into place as this energy moves out. You are about to be celebrated, honored, respected, honey. It's like you're letting go of something that kept you literally locked in a damn cage of bad memories and dreams. And you're walking right into your wish fulfillment. Oh my God, honey. You could be moving. Wow. Jeez, this is easy it's not easy because whatever that energy is that I picked up on just a second ago that's not an easy energy to to walk away from it's not <laughs> it's not but oh my god if you could see what you're moving into gorgeous energy the ten of cups and the chariot Cancer Pisces energy, Queen of Cups. It's like everything that was blocked, every door that was closed, every every no turns into a yes for you. This is things would quickly move for you. This is what you're moving away from. This looked like a dictatorship to me. Doesn't look like a reciprocal. This is like a bad memory. It's your love. Your love is manifesting this wonderful news that I just picked up on. So how 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 is your love gonna fit in that cage that this motherfucker's trying to put it in? Hmm. For some of you, this is your talent, your capabilities, your skill set. Because this is the work section. Work career, work life. You know. It's time for you to be your own person. And tell this energy to fuck off. Literally. Because this is. <laughs> Energetically. If you, it's like if you could see. I'm here. <laughs> Do you see what I see? Do you know what I know? Honey, if you knew what spirit knew. If you could see. The demon in this motherfucker. Ooh, you be scared. Oh. <laughs> you be taking all kind of salt baths and pouring brick dust in front of the door and shit. <laughs> Putting crosses and garlic everywhere, child. <sighs> Let's just clear it for a second. <laughs> oh, Pisces. A lot of y'all have those spiritual eyes where you can you can see like hold up. Something something dark. You can probably see this for your loved ones. But not necessarily for yourself. Now it's reminding me of Mademoiselle. From Eve's body. And she said. Um, she was a psychic. And she said that she. Was able to see everybody's problems. But her own. And she had been through many lovers. Stop dating this person. Stop letting this person. It's like this. You have to stop. When it stops with them, problems stop for you. Take a vacation. Get away in the month of November. You have to. A lot of y'all be traveling soon. Take full advantage. Take full advantage of getting away and clearing your energy, creating a new habit, coming back and sticking to that habit. Let's look at love. 
<laughs> Baby, the message is all over the place. Okay. <laughs> Your whole reading is what I just told you. <laughs> Pisces, 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 Pisces. First of all, I said this in a reading for you recently. You're beautiful, darling. Just the way you are. If you want to change it, you can. In the meantime, love it with all of your might. You know, sit there and admire other people and compare yourself and judge yourself and beat yourself down and all this other stuff. And you probably got somebody looking at you like, man, I would suck, lick. I would put my mouth. <laughs> every part of you <laughs> you know what I mean so just love the skin that you're in honey. Um, and it's a part of attracting love to you like be, being real comfortable with yourself I mean like really get into it um, we'll start to attract love to you put more mirrors up in the house just look at yourself it's you <laughs> like it's just me you are cherished for love you just gotta let go of this shit that was making you feel unloved. Like, every time it's gonna fall into place, it's gonna be like a domino effect. It's, you're gonna be like, and then everything just gonna, you're gonna look back and everything's in color all of a sudden. I'm telling you. In the present is where it's at. That's where your renewal is. That's where your spark is. That's where that, you know, that truth, where you can be honest with yourself. Everything gonna come to light. But you have to remain present. Stop looking back at that shit. What's back there? Probably what was in that last spread. What's back there? Is that you? Hmm. Is it a married person? I mean, somebody who may have made you feel rejected because they was... Maybe... What's back there? Don't be selfish person is selfish you're happy you're better off without this person and their lack of focus on whatever it is that y'all are supposed to be doing together it's like disappointment baby but guess what you're free now this person is indebted to someone they could be in a contract it's like they they're, they're upset because i feel like they can't take this opportunity it's like it's not that they don't want to it's that you you would be put in a third party situation it's like this person probably already put you in a love triangle something about poor timing health as well what is burden name this person Something that they did, I don't know if they feel like they lost control of you. It's like they don't know. Now they don't know. Because you seem so free. And the mother, mother, ooh, they wonder what the hell is going on. Ooh, is this someone new? Leo? <laughs> yes, it is. Virgo energy, possibly. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The way is clear. A positive change comes with a person in the month of November. Rest. Something that you can rest, honey. You can whew, relax. Yes. You can let your guard down. You're not going to have to work so hard. Oh, my goodness. A lot of options are going to open up for you. Um, somebody going to be wondering why you're not... Why don't you care? <laughs> Why don't you care anymore? Something like that. But this person was a heartbreaker. <laughs> King of Pentacles in the reverse. It's the same King of Pentacles popped up, popped up and everybody reading. He he going around talking about Keisha. Do you love me? Are you riding? Say so you never, never leave. Pisces, do you love me? Is you lying? <laughs> they want to know if you lying. Mm. The person that had you so spread then, honey. Let's read this song. This is a song that came up for you. Uh, it's called Spread Thin by Mariah the Sciences. She said, and now I cannot trust you. And I'm forced to let you go. And that's what's spreading thin on us. 
Baby, you're the reason. Hate to see you lose control. This person probably ain't. Waste of time. Waste of time. Stop investing. Feel better. Quite literally. Now I must spend all my time thinking about your lies and cover-ups. Who got time for that, Pisces? My, my brain just got tired thinking about that. Okay, so we have a mutual connection. Okay. <laughs> but we ain't got shit to say to each other. You disappointed and I'm on my... I'm back on my bullshit. Your disappointment... Is my is my empowerment, my disappointment is your peace. That ain't it. That's not it. Baby, you're the reason. <laughs> Switching up on everyone who loves you. Hmm. You always think. You always think the only one who needs attention is you. <laughs> Don't be so conceited. I hope you know that honesty was the only thing that could keep me from leaving. Baby, you're the reason. <laughs> like, you ain't even taking none of the blame for this shit, Pisces. It is what it is. <sighs> now, I'm left to wonder. How do I let this go? No, they're left to wonder. What would have happened had I been honest? Cause you about to have this rebirth once you let go of the ties that bind and avoid, you know, this this mess. And there could have been a struggle there, right? As you're going through this, as you're going through this rebirth, there's a struggle, but you end in the flow. Wu Wei, okay? You end where you're supposed to be. A lot of y'all need to implement the pause, implement a pause into your routine. Every time you're about to make a decision and you know you're like, mm, like, should I call him? Should I call her? Should I invite them? Should I do this? Pause. <laughs> Give yourself 60 seconds to, set, to, to go over the pros and cons. Whenever your lower region is starting to feel a little wanting, okay? Pause. <laughs> Maybe even go masturbate. See how you feel afterwards. If you still want to call, okay, you know. But <laughs> if you cool on just, you know, watching Netflix and maybe getting something to eat after that, then it wasn't that deep. It wasn't that deep, okay? Think with your mind. Think with your mind, not with your thing thing. So, what else? You gonna be working, honey? You ain't got time for no damn drama anyway. You need everything to be right in your life because you you you're November is game time. It's crunch time. You got shit to do. Um, somebody doesn't want the honeymoon to be over with you, um, but it's like, honey, life is not a honeymoon. <laughs> It's like a whole bunch of unfinished business and they're trying to get they, they they're trying to get to the finish line with their penis. <laughs> it's like all they can think about, or they thinking about who who love you. Like good man. Yeah. This is like a dirty offer. What is this? That them. That's the energy. <sighs> you could be rebelling. But I feel like this person rebelled against you. It's like this person is giving you. It's like. <laughs> if I put half down now. <laughs> it's like. Somebody want to put. I got five on it. <laughs> they got five on it. And they got some chemistry and some payments for you. But it's it's a bit empty. There's an emptiness. There's like a block here. There's no solid. There's nothing solid for you to stand on in this connection. The person controlling you, the empress, and they the emperor in the reverse. And you can make it do whatever you want it to do, Pisces. 
And I'm not saying that the other person is your end all be all, but it's better than what you've been doing. And, and you need to allow yourself to open up. What you going to spend years getting over this person and miss out on somebody who could make all those years feel like they, they could make up for all of them years in y'all's courting stage. I miss out on your blessing for this. <laughs> for this mother. <laughs> mm -mm. You the third eye, Pisces. You the one. <laughs> you the one they dreaming about all day. You deserve love. You're already tired of them. You're tired of them. You can see what this person got going on with your eye closed. <laughs> You're good to go, babes. <laughs> You're good to go, baby. Focus on your money. Focus on your money. Focus on enjoying your life. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. Hell, put this motherfucker on Do Not Disturb. Your advice and love for November. Whew, honey. If the last time you touched the stove, it was hot. Don't touch it again. <laughs> if, there's a, if there's a sign that says halt. <laughs> Slippery floor. Don't, don't go over there. You're going to fall. You're going to fall. There's trickery afoot. Because <laughs> this person's intentions, ooh, they, they're very attracted to you. Oh, yeah, they, 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 they want to have sex with you. It's like they want to do this out of order. It's like first comes sex, then comes marriage and <laughs> commitment. Or perhaps this person just secretly being in a marriage. And it's like they, they holding on to the connection that they feel with you. But baby, this is a, it's a photo shoot. I mean, I'm going to be doing a photo shoot. Something about the sun, happiness, or the summertime could have been significant too. Listen to me, Pisces. <laughs> this person is out of order. <laughs> This person is out of order. This new person, I would go for it. <laughs> I would go for it. I'd be a Gemini. I feel like you holding on to this other situation, that's what's giving you the lack of foresight with this new situation. You let it go, you'll be able to see a lot. You'll be able to see everything clearly. Every time you go backwards, you it's like you putting yourself in the same doubt that this person, you know what I'm saying, is in. This other person just wants control, honey. They, they're oppressive and they're sneaky and they don't tell the truth and you need to stop dealing with this person sexually if you are if you were or something like that somebody is not in the best of uh, energy health or something like that i feel like it's energetically be careful being intimate with that person or just don't <laughs> This is you completely putting an end to something. Like, really just saying no. Say no to Joe. <laughs> Say no to Joe. John Doe, whoever it is, honey. Say no to Joe. Your decision is yours. Chemistry is not enough to sustain a relationship. Neither is sex, money, or empty promises. So... 
Pisces. I think I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, why do I feel like I need to say something else to you? So I will. I'll leave you with this. I tried to get these out as fast as I could. I didn't want you guys waiting too long for the readings. So, Pisces, is that it? Yeah, there is something about summer. Yeah, nostalgia, 33. Focus on the here and now, Pisces. You're spending the majority of your time daydreaming, wondering what could have been. If only things had gone the way you wanted. By doing this, you aren't giving yourself a fair chance. Truth is, there's nothing you can do to change what happened, no matter how many scenarios you craft in your mind. Make, improvement, uh, make improvements to your present, not your imaginary. Be sure to nurture what you've been given. I love you, Pisces. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.